Testudo! It kind of worked. Stay in Testudo, gentlemen. We're in that castle. We've breached the outer gates. Welcome back to Shield Wall. The Wall of Shields. There's been an update to the campaign giving us the final battle of Act 1 of the Roman campaign. This is the Battle of Elysia taking place in central France. Now what's gonna be really cool about this is this might be one of the most epic sieges of the ancient world. Basically, Julius Caesar's like, yo, I'm gonna be uh, governor of Gaul. And in order to do that, let's check the map. Oh my God, it is actually happening. So here's the map. We have three Roman fortifications. We're sieging, sieging? In an attempt to seizing, this right here, Vasingatorix is in the middle. Now, their gold value is 240 and ours is, quick math, 90 times three, 270, so advantage us, but there's a problem. We have three points to defend, and the enemy, well, they're all in the one main fortress. Like, look at how much I have to defend. This is truly one of the most epic sieges, but it presents a very interesting situation. They can counterattack and take multiple different points if they'd like to, right? Well, one of the cool things that we can do in this update to Shield Wall is I can call in defenders at any one of my three points so that they can at least defend against the counterattack that's likely going to be happening whenever the Germans decide to sally forth. So now that we know the rules, it is time to attack. And by that, I mean, it's time to defend. So let's get, I just purchased two defenders here. Where are you guys going? Where are you? That doesn't look like the spot to defend. You see all the dudes with the green shields over there? You know what? Let's go ahead and see if I can't defend the walls. I think I'm only able to purchase two defenders here. Oh gosh, the Germans are coming, boys. So I am Caesar, the men will obey, right? And we can do testudo formations, which I just absolutely adore. But that's really advantageous when you're like, see those guys on that tower up there, that upper tower? Where are they going? Let's, let's confer with our notes. They're coming over here to try to take that. I'm assuming that's where the Germans are going. Do we see them crossing the river? Jerry the Germans, Vasingatorix. Is that how you pronounce his name? I think what we're gonna wanna do is get two defenders Oh, but the number of units that I have has been reached. So what we're gonna have to do is, well, purchase more units, gentlemen. So there we go. Now there's gonna be two defenders here. I'm actually very curious to see what the AI is going to do because attacking that castle is gonna be very difficult. But I've got two guards here and two guards here. Then we only have the third portion of the map that is undefended for us anyway. And they've got, oh, the, are the Germans holding the lines? Hmm, this is gonna be very interesting. I feel like this cage is for like lions or war dogs. The Romans used war dogs. And I mean, if you've ever played any of the Total War games, you know, you, you've had access to them. All right, so now we got two defenders here. Oh, and look, look what's happening. Okay, they're, they're moving into attack. So we need to move immediately to intercept this German fort. Oh God, we don't have any gates, do we? So they're just gonna, gentlemen, hurry. We must defend our ranged men. Attack them, kill them all. Now, what would be kind of funny as I gallantly leap is I want to see if I can't just... Oh, yeah, they, they do have a number of armed guards with uh, ranged weaponry, but look at this. Oh, I was just going to say serpentine usually works pretty well, and then they took one to the hip, and as I'm an old Caesar... Oh, God. Oh, God, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, God, they got swords, too? This is a bad idea. The enemy's gotten reinforcements, and they're outnumbering me. Julius Caesar, et tu, Brute? Et tu? But we did make our way into the enemy base, so... Who are these guys? Oh, snap! Help me! Help your Caesar! Get them, boys! <laughs> the Germans are chasing me! Ouch! Wait a second. That means somewhere on this map... Is there orange over here? No wonder we were watching both sides. Hey, hey, dude, turn around. They're, yeah, right there? That's where the bad guys are. So if you could... Yeah, if you could just do that, that'd be great. All right, go get them, boys. Now, while you're gallantly fighting, I think it's time for me to really consider the situation at hand. First, I'm gonna purchase another defender or two here. Get us up to two defenders. But I was not expecting that. That was a genuine surprise. So somewhere over here, oh shoot. They just whooped my boys. All right, I need to go over here, I think, and see if there's a secret orange flag or if they're just timed attacks. I'm not entirely sure the mechanics just yet, but I can't because 
Unlike Formato, which was the developer's other game, which had a little more RTS mechanics, this one's been a little more simplified. I do have to say that I like the art style considerably better. And I like the scope of the game as well. But if I could command my men, I could I could have them defend, or maybe what I need is just more defenders. But my unit limit has been reached. So I think what I need to do... I really want to scout and see what's over there. We should be able to hold that. If not, the flag is lost and all is doomed, but... Don't worry, I'm just in charge here. But I'm going on adventure, gentlemen! Never mind, never mind, you're, you're coming with me. We, we're gonna need more defenders, aren't we? Dude, the general's here. If the general's here... Wait, my spear guys will kill him at some point, that's for sure. The general's back there. I could do a little cheeky breaky. Never mind, they shut the gates. Alright, kill him. Nice work, gentlemen. Alright, so then what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna purchase a few more defenders here. So we've got more defenders, right? And I'm gonna take this small contingent of men. Actually, I'm gonna just load up on defenders and- and- I- I need you men to hold this fort. The barbarians are coming and look at this, we're throwing our pilot at range, so they automatically do that and they're incredibly accurate. In the game Formata, which, remember when we played Formata and I asked the question, whatever happened to Formata? And then shortly thereafter, Shieldball came out, answering the question. The developer learned from that. And now we have this, it's pretty cool. I'm genuinely curious where- what's going on over here. There's something over here, guys. I can't- I can't really see where I am on the map. Oh, it's- okay. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if they're gonna attack- wait, look at that. There's a battle at sea. Oh, shoot. Those guys are yellow, and they're taking it. The problem with that is I'm not able to really get a big army. So this is difficult. No, are they? They're yellow, but they're raising a green flag. We should be able to take this. All right, boys, stab this guy in the back. I'm blocking him. He doesn't know. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. On me, gentlemen. We need to retake this flag. That was actually pretty interesting how that worked out. Now, we've got a ton of money. We have 744. First thing we need to do is get standard. And then we want the ore effect for the standard. And look at that. It's been boosted. Some of these are now 250 instead of the original 200. Now, I'm thinking I want attack speed as ours. We're going on the offense. Now, the rest of the wall, there aren't any flags there. But if this game ever did allow for multiplayer gameplay, you could see how... This could be a very, very fun multiplayer map in that you could have a few Roman generals leading different areas of the wall, and some other players would be barbarians in the outermost, because the outer areas, and then some that are in the castle. That would be pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna need some defenders here. Now, what's gonna be interesting... Oh god, now we gotta come over here. But here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna let the defenders defend and take their casualties. Since there isn't a better way of getting units, I could kill these guys, but I don't really want to. Look at that. They're getting spittooned from both sides. That's just, that's what you call a crossfire. We're just absolutely destroying them. And, and you have the balls to come at me? Oh god, those spears, man. Those spears. And there's Vasingatorix on the ground. I, I may be pronouncing his name wrong, but, spoiler alert, I didn't live back then. Oh man, it looks like I took a 9mm bullet to the forehead. Ouch, dude. But we're using this time to build up our army. Legionaries, and let's do a little flag healing aura. So that way, I will be healed. Look at my health. It, it's slowly regenerating. It's in the bottom middle, that yellow bar that's slowly trickling up. But this was truly the one of the coolest sieges, the most interesting sieges in the ancient world. A quick, too long, didn't read. These guys are looking that way because... Germans did attack from both sides. Basically, Julius Caesar came in and was like, all right, I'm gonna take that town. We're gonna seize them, seize them, seize them? We will seize them via the siege. And then he's like, oh shoot, they're coming from the other way. Okay, well, I'll just build a wall over there too. So he was sieging one faction while being sieged by others. It was impressive. Like he shouldn't have won, but he did. And he became the coolest Roman ever. At least in my opinion. Which, if you ask me, it's... It means a lot. <laughs> so then what we'll have to do is endure a few different attacks. Now, I can... I can hire legionaries, but... I'm not gonna be able to purchase too many, but at least my men from now on are gonna be better... Armored. Oh! 
Now, oh, look, they're attacking over here. Okay, this is bad. I don't think I have enough men to defeat them outright. See, these guys are blue. The guys in the middle are green. Now, luckily, I called in some legionaries at the right time, I think. And I, I'll blow the war horn. So we'll defend this flag. We're just gonna have to play whack-a-mole for a little bit. And we need to maintain our gold superiority so that we can have better upgrades when the penultimate battle of fighting Vasingatorix does happen. I think what we'll have to do is debate him out here. And uh, basically, like, hopefully he'll uh, attack one of these points. Um, and in so doing, we'll... we'll sneak in the back door that's that's my hope my pl that was my plan what game was that from a vampire said it all right it's time for another upgrade and i always forget q that's the one we want okay so as we gain experience we can have different effects by choosing a different sign we can have them now the one i'm going for is all damage so we're gonna see crescent moons on top of my spear it's one that i love the most because look at that spqr somehow in latin that means like the roman republic now, where do they go? Where does Green go? Does he transfer men into, like, other groups? I wish we could build a guard tower. That's one thing I would love. And here we go, guys. If you have suggestions to what you think would make Shield Wall uh, even better, let me know. Because one of the things I'd love is, like, a guard tower. Or, like, a raised a scouting tower. Yeah, not a guard tower. This isn't... We're not running a prison here. Uh, which would allow me to see further in some situations. Should we do a little a little scouting party? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know if it's a good idea, but oh, they're they're back. See, look at the map. They've got two zones, and I'm thinking this is elevated. So we'll run in here. D is on lower ground, and E is on the higher ground. So even when we take D, it's gonna be just a battle of the ages to go ahead and take E. Needless to say, sieges are um hard. Oh. Charlie's being attacked. Charlie's being attacked. It's a small group of barbarians. They're orange this time. Uh oh, if we don't take this, this is gonna be a problem. But it, it gives it to green. It doesn't give it to orange, which I do like. This is a completely new kind of mechanic. Oh God, nice pylums. Oh God, and, and since I don't have the flag, I can't call in reinforcements, can I? Retreat. Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. Sir Robin, Sir Robin. Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. Gentlemen, throw the pylum there in the river. They've got a hat that makes them look like a kitty cat, and we don't like that. It's foreign and it's different. Legionnaires, do you want to lose your life for the empire? I mean, it's not really the empire yet, right? We kind of turn it into the empire. Oh, yeah, they're coming. They're coming. So they gave the flag to green, and look at the point score. There's just a slight edge to us. But I, I like this. Yeah, go ahead. All right, you know what? We can do that, too. Throw our pylums. All right, that should be pretty effective. Needless to say, some other units, like I know that the developers mentioned the possibility of spearmen. I'm very curious if archers could work. All right, the, the orange general has been taken. So yeah, different barbarian tribes of the Germanics uh, will be attacking at different points. I think going all in on defenders, it's cool to have a few defenders and it can kind of buy you enough time, but I don't recommend doing what I did where you just pour them all into the central base. Maybe spreading them out, but honestly, since I can't build any buildings that will allow me to have even more unit cap, which I'm not entirely sure why you can't. You know, we're gonna have to kinda, we're gonna have to kinda apply this one boy, yeah. Aha, look at this. All right, the Germans come. Look at this, they kinda like, oh shoot, they're over there. And they're, they're aiming their shields to their right and not the other side. Ooh, they actually threw some pylon, but most of them hit the stockade walls there. And once they get in, guess what? They're in for a rude awakening. This is our castle, boys! You say Pilium or hell yeah! Well, that's the Germans dead. All right, so in order to get rid of the militia, I need to one control. One plus control. I'm not able to do it. Oh god, look at this. Pincer maneuver. The purple barbarians are attacking from, I don't know, we'll call it the north. Oh, the Caesar! This is, this is a tribulation. All right, the general's been killed. So that means he is back at the base. We're gonna just let this play out. <laughs> All right, guys, get the dudes attacking the flag, will you? Oh man, there's a full German squad. But are they on patrol? I think they must be on patrol. You guys are on patrol, go over there. Nothing to see here, it's just me. This is fine, this is fine. It's just not fine for my men. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh God, this is, I don't know if this was a good idea, but we did it. So, you know, we're, we're sticking to our guns. Come on, boys. We've almost captured the flag. Ring around the rosy, the rosy. Look at that. I'm calling in legionnaires. We need to take out the guards. Gentlemen, on me, on me. We will take out the guards. We are in 
The castle. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Now, what are they going to do? I can always escape. Whoa, German boy. As long as... Oh, they can't get up the other stairwell, I don't think. The, the AI. And look at that. I still hold the wall. So I, I, I'm going to just get infinite reinforcements, I think. I can stand up here and you know what? It, it is time. Standard respawn time would be helpful. And then I, I, I probably need to save the rest. I, I should have saved more money here because there's a lot of Germanics here. Ah! Get them, boys. Oh, look at this. I'm like in the buildings. All right. Uh, it's a very messy siege, but it was time. Now we're fighting at Delta, which according to my map is where I am right now. That means there's no Germanic tribes ambushing the outer parts of the walls and taking that area. Wait, if they're here, then that means there's no one up here. Oh God. Hey, 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 none of that. Oh, <laughs> help me. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I got stuck on a tree. And look at that, immediate reinforcements. Oh shoot. Hold on, there, there is an attack going on. I need access to the stairs. You, you guys must fight. One of these points is being under attack. Yeah, there it is. Oh God, the light blues this time. And they're actually moving on. Oh God, there's a pincer attack going on right there. Holy snikes. Well, no, 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 none of that, sir. None of that. I'm gonna recruit an entirely new army. But that means green is probably doing the same thing. I don't know how to do this, actually. The ultimate goal we have is to take this fort. Now, where is it? Here it is. Is there no one around it? A very peculiar situation, most definitely. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, look at that. We've only got two left. That means we lost the center fort because there's two on um, beta, on Bravo. I guess you'd call it Bravo. But now the tape. Look how the turntables. Now it's me who holds the castle. And we're going to be attacking my previously established. Oh, God, I hear battle. Bring me battle. Oh, they're, they're, they're going to attack the wall. Okay. Look at that. You can see the gate visually crumbling, which is pretty awesome. Gentlemen, pile them at the ready. Fire! All right. I guess we should. Uh... Oh, yeah, this is one thing we need to do damage, damage, damage. Look at that general, like, fighting right next to me, and I'm like, I don't fight. Oh, I'm a general. That is... Oh, look at this. So that's the light blue and the green. Oh, my God, and I'm out of money. If we don't hold here, we are absolutely in a bad spot. So reinforcements are necessary. Horn is on cooldown. Oh, my God, the horn. Oh, look at that. We won, but... Oh, yeah, kill that, kill that general. Green took that spot. All right, do you think I have the time? I do. See, unlike you, you German scum. I mean, you barbarian scum. They weren't like, hey man, we're not Kaiser Wilhelm von Seckenstein. We're gonna take this. We wanna, we wanna limit them to one flag point. We want them to come to us. I'm not entirely sure where they're gonna go. Are they going back up to the castle? Oh, this is weird, dude. Hopefully the gate's close. Uh-oh, we didn't upgrade gate repair time. Oh, and, and I press shift because in a lot of games, you know, you, you think shift is for sprint. There's a lot of ring around the rosy going on here. I guess what I could do is send them all in. No, they took it. They took D. So we'll have to grab this one quick. They're probably going back up to the top. I feel like what we just did. Where's Echo? Oh, okay, Echo's at the top. Those dang, like, random event tribes. Look, they're, they're attacking right over there. Purples are literally just... Zerg jumping over the wall. I mean, this is a, a, a challenge. And my guard here, he didn't look like he's doing a good job. So I've got to take this back. Oh, wow. That, those spears actually kind of like came back at me. So they've, they've retaken the castle. Yeah, that was interesting. Ooh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, they're going to attack my main gate. If I can hold the flag, I can get reinforcements. Oh, shoot. They, they're going to take it so fast. All right, don't let them take the flag. Don't let him take the flag. Just keep running, just keep running. I am Julius Caesar. Are we winning? Boys, are we winning? Tell me we're winning. Ah! Reinforcements! They called in reinforcements. They did our strategy against us. This is not going well. Yeah, shoot that guy. You know what? Screw this, man. Oh, you're not allowed to do that. You can't just run up there. I'm running up there. 
goodness gracious. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's nothing to see here, Billy Bob. This actually might work. They may pensively pause. Positively Pensington, but look at this. We have over a thousand points, but the problem that we're gonna encounter is this map can take 60 minutes I'm gonna I'm gonna cue you in when we, we've got a little more juice I think one of the things that this game could really use is Some of the real-time strategy mechanics that were in Formata being able to go to this map and then direct squads like say Defenders go from Charlie to Alpha that alone being able to send just five defenders could greatly increase you know the variability of this kind of map all right on your caesar caesar dressing and croutons come on boys we are going up to the top now hopefully oh enemy has got reinforcements oh so what's interesting is that's probably happening I, oh there we go they're over here i see the little spiky helmets we're gonna go in here oh my god you guys are a pain in the buttocks i don't know how to say buttocks in german but if I could, I would, you know what I mean? All right, I guess I can I can contribute. I'm a warrior general, you see? Ha ha! In the buttocks. In the tuchus. So the, we'll see a big obvious, the enemy's got reinforcements, and that means they're coming from off screen, gentlemen. Now, another thing we can do is damage. All of the damage is belonging to us, gentlemen, and gate crashing ability, meaning we've upped our damage and we're gonna attack the gate faster all right attack the gate it'd be cool if you could buy like axemen battering rams catapults i mean it, like battering rams would make more sense since it's like rome but the romans had some pretty interesting siege equipment oh wow we just busted through all right boys on me i don't know where they are they're up there they're up there testudo it kind of worked stay in testudo gentlemen we're in that castle we've breached the altar gates we'll take on the inner courtyard laddies stay in testudo they're already in there pile them they learned it from us. I don't know why I'm talking in a terrible Irish accent. I'm excitable. Prepare a volley! Prepare a second volley! That- those were bad volleys, gentlemen. Uh, uh, that was me. That's on me. Give us the damage bonus. Replace all losses. Standard level. Up one point. Boom. Alright, the gate is being repaired. I think we've got to go for it. We have to just beat them. Alright, boys, get- get around that and fire! All right, you're gonna have to do that. Oh my god, I, I've led them all to me. This is bad. This is bad. Oh god, can I can I jump? Yeah! What's up? I'm Caesar. Stop getting reinforcements, you jerks. Hey, what's up, dude? Got some cheeky breakies. The enemy's got reinforcements. I need to end it here, but it's not gonna end here because the 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 infinite reinforcements works for us and it works against us. It's very frustrating in, in a way because it can feel like somewhere somewhere we have one defender. Oh my god, we actually won. Maybe the enemy's out of gold? I just need you to follow me. I just need you to follow me. I don't care how many men we lose, we are taking this darn castle. Good. We've eliminated their ability to get reinforcements. Alright, now you can kill them. Yes. Yes. Now I just need to retake the outer battlements. This is gonna be much easier, I think. We just have to keep them from being able to take this. Are we... There's a general here. Kill him. Kill that man. And maybe, like, one thing I would change is, like, uh, if you could add more kind of, oh, shoot, combat mechanics for you as a player, I'd be far more incentivized to actually fight. Hey, let's, let's give ourselves a little boost here, huh? Yeah, at this point, there's, like, just nothing else I can upgrade either. There's that, which does help. I think that's, yeah, get these guys out of the way, will you? All right. Move, move, move. We need to beat them in battle right here. Testudo, with me, with me. Screw that. Cheese is a strategy. Oh, God. Now, by having us fight around their flag, we should be able to capture it while eliminating their army. Then there's one more flag we're going to have to do that with. You get him, and I'm going I'm to try to get this guy. Let's see. Do they rebuild? Yeah, they did. Biscuits and gravy, boys. Biscuits and gravy. Ooh, but they're running out of gold. You know what? You really should just surrender. Do a people not know when they're conquered? What, what movie is that from? One of the most famous Roman-based movies I know. Gentlemen, this is where we fight. This is where they die. That poor man, he's alone walking in that river. Do you know how many Romans have peed in it? Don't you dare. Don't you dare go attack Deflect. Dang it. 
No, when you're conquered. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. A barbarian invasion on the other side. It never ends with these people. Look, you capture that flag slow, bro. He's like, send in the men. You don't have any men, bro. You're pooping green tennis balls. And yes, we've attained glorious victory. So once again, guys, please leave some constructive criticism for where you'd like to see this game go. Because it has some very fun elements to it. It's got some promising mechanics, and I think it could go pretty far. Especially when you compare what Formata was and what Shield Wall is. Like the repertoire of skills that could be kind of implemented. But anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Shield Wall. Here we showed off the new update in the epic castle siege of Alicia. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.